I want to put some walnut keys in the corner of this box. It'll strengthen it, but I don't want to want to, I don't want them to be contrasting because I want the focus to be on the beautiful spalted maple on the top. So in order to cut the keys for this, I'm going to do what uh, a lot of woodworkers will tell you to never do, and that's to saw with the saw thin strips against the fence. There are lots of little devices that they make to try to help you with this, but all of them involve moving the fence. But once you get it set up for the right cut, you want to leave it there. And this is made safe by a couple different things. One is the use of the push block to guide the wood through the, through the saw. The other is I have a zero clearance um, throat plate in the saw. And so that provides a great deal of extra support. So I've cut a test piece and I'm checking with this block of wood. Now this block of wood has a saw cut in it made with that same blade. And so that allows me to check and see that I'll be able to get it in there. I can also check here on my box and I can see that the little keys that I cut will fit. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and continue cutting. With these strips fitting just the way I want, I can take some tape and I'm making a, a bundle of them. And the next thing I'll do is set up the table saw with a 45 degree sled and I can cut, 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 cut and have a whole lot of little triangular shaped keys. Now the advantage of the triangular shaped key is I get a lot more out of the stock than I would out of rectangular ones. And I don't have as much to cut off on the outside of the box. To cut the keys, you simply make a cut, flip it over 180 degrees, cut again and again, and again, each time flipping 180 degrees, and you end up with having made a whole lot at a time. Being bundled as they are, they don't have a tendency to fly. They just simply... Cut and remain bundled. And now they're ready to glue in place.